Hey guys, so um, for the third part of the series, I totally forgot to add some um, pretty important scene in the uh, in the video. So here are the forgotten scene over there, and uh, be careful for uh, and Walker spoilers if you're not up to date with the MSQ. Have fun. Camera, why are you doing that? City whack. Whack whack. Their dress marks them as alchemists. I see no evidence of injury or poison. Thinkest thou they but slumber? Mm -hmm. Thickest. What the thickest means? I believe so. Whether it is by choice is another question entirely. Sorry. So I had like a smudge in my glasses. Eh, hair. Oh, we have guests. Seems like we do. You must excuse the poor welcome. Long days and longer nights have taken their toll, as you can see. Are they actually sleeping because they want to? I am Vashan, servant to the Satrap. My task? was, in fact, to wake these good men and women, if you will allow. Oh, he's a kid. Well, I guess teenager. People of the great work, I come bearing new scales. Mm. Scales? We have new scales? Oh my yes, god! My Gather round. I have them right here. Oh, happy day. Now I can continue my experiment. Many thanks. One for me. Skills like dragon Those skills? are dragon scales. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yes, such materials are vital to their most pressing research. Damn, your eyes are so red. And we are fortunate to have them. Our experiments are so close to bearing fruit. The music is good. Oh boy. Soon we will have a talisman capable of nullifying the etheric emissions from that accursed tower. Oh? Did I say something wrong? Are you not here with Varshan? Wait, who are you people? <laughs> of course! You're the one Kryl said. The warrior of light we've been waiting for. Okay, so here we don't need to be like secretive about being from the silence of the Seven Dawn. Oh, this is a day of celebration. Praise be to Sindaruva! To Sindruva. Sindruva. The winds have shifted. I feel it. The end to our toil is near. <laughs> when he said scales, I instantly thought about the kind you used to wait. <laughs> okay, yeah, the scale to wait the uh, anything. <laughs> That's funny. I feel it too. My head hasn't been this clear in days. Wow, that's a really heavy accent. Holy shit. Tell me, how did you acquire those scales? Yeah, I'm really intrigued too. Curious that it concerns you so. 
but worry not. They were freely given by the dragon with whom our satrap has forged a lawful pact. That is well. That is, it's, it's way too sketchy. What's going on? You must on? be quite familiar with Dragon King, yes? <laughs> is this their congealed blood I see on your weapon? <laughs> oh no, Simeon. You're so famous! Hmm. Speaking of dragon blood, you yourself have been infused with it, have you not? Oh my god, he's so awkward. I should like to draw a file or two. <laughs> oh God! <laughs> See here. Come along, come along. I must insist that you visit our laboratory. <laughs> Cease your shoving, or so help me. I'm surprised that he's not talking loudly. He's like, just stop. <laughs> oh dear, your poor companion. <laughs> what with the new scales and your timely arrival? My colleagues are a little giddy with excitement. Uh, we can see that. No harm will come to him, I promise. You sure? Meanwhile, shall we find a quiet place to talk? Uh, are we gonna leave Estanian with them? <laughs> what is going on? <laughs> That's so fucking funny. As you may have guessed, I am Nidana, the alchemist who sent a request to your mistress cryo. We have workshops across the nation collaborating on this research project. But it is here at the great work where I collate our results. Come with me, all of you, and I can explain the crux of the situation. The crux of the situation. The music is so good! <laughs> <laughs> Yes, that would be Radzad Han. Hardly anyone has been allowed in or out since our troubles with the tower began. Mm. The faithful citizens huddle inside the city walls, and commerce has all but ground to a standstill. I pity the satrap, the trials he must be facing. Well, he... He is the most important person in Radzad Han. Long ago, this island was home to two tribes of Matanga. The Gajasura and the Arkasutra. Arkasutra. When the Aura came to these shores, it was the Arkasutra with whom they joined forces. Together they defeated the warlike Gajasura, forcing them to flee Thavnir altogether. I wonder who the voice actors are for... The people living there. Peace and prosperity reigned for a time until a clan of Hyor from the mainland decided they wanted the island for themselves. It was a direct ancestor of the present Satrap who arbitrated that conflict and welded the warring factions into the nation we know today. Hmm. And ever since, a member of that esteemed lineage has inherited this somewhat unique position. You see, by and large, the state is run by the people. But when problems arise, it is the satrap who mediates the solution. Mm -hmm. The stability provided by the satrap is what has allowed Radz at Han to thrive all these years. Mm. And it was the satrap himself who entrusted us with this duty. We will not fail him, nor our countrymen. What is the delay with the vessel? I told you I need to adjust those ratios. 
ratios. Ratios. Where is Estinian? What did you do with him? <laughs> Fandano! Oh fuck! <laughs> I come all this way to admire one of my splendid towers. And what do I find? Fools attempting to ward off its tempering influence with magic trinkets. <laughs> I seem to recall a similar experiment in ages past. What was that man's name? What was it? Tell us. Oh, something. Oe. Oh, another, another body, body another time. time. Who could be expected to remember every trivial detail? What's that hmm. the voice? Allowing them to construct such handy talismans would be counterproductive to my plans. I want to know who's. Like, Finn Daniel, what, what's your true and like visual identity? What, because we heard the other voice. What the? Ah! What's going and on? I find myself deathly curious. How will they manage this feat with the limited knowledge and resources at their disposal? <laughs> Complications be damned. But we cannot escape the nature of our souls. And I, as ever, am my own worst enemy. Whoa. Whoa. 